Um, this, this is my first time here, and I must say I like the place. Um, it looks like, sorry that I finished my money. <laughs> Thank God I didn't come out of my wallet. Um, I must say, um, I am an angry comedian. There are some persons that I'm angry with. I don't know if you, if you work with um, human resources here. Is there anybody that work with HR here? Nobody. Okay, thank God. I don't know why somebody will post a job description online and you say you need a 20 years old with seven years experience in the banking sector. <laughs> Where do you expect him to get some real experience from? Is it where they say power bank? <laughs> yeah? Or where they say blood bank? This year was the first time I decided to write a CV for myself. When the lockdown locked us at home, nowhere to perform again, I decided to write my CV. When I wrote the first CV, I looked at it and said to myself, this CV will not give me any job anywhere. It was empty, no experience. Not even one single job experience. The only thing on my CV was degree. So me now, I said, no. I started adding experience. Places that I've done, get man. I will just put the head of security, agent one. Nigerians like anything, we get number. The places that I've done receptionists, I'll just put front desk admin, <laughs> strategist two. When I was done with this CV, my CV was 27 pages. <laughs> when I saved it to PDF, it was 400 MB. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for me, two weeks after, I saw job adverts. They posted job adverts. They said they need a field optimization officer. Starting salary, 157000 I sent them a mail. Before the mail got to them, they replied me. They said, we have been looking for you. Ah. So, I got to the office now. I saw the HR. She was just smiling. I don't know why HR they like smiling. She was just smiling. She just told me, ah, you fit the job description. Please come. They didn't interview me. They took me to one room, gave me green overall with cutlass, took me outside, showed me 50 plots of land, don't leave me to clear. They said, this is the field. <laughs> Optimize it. Are you serious? Hey, child, very wicked. Though. And there is no job. And one thing I've noticed in Nigeria, there are some jobs that you have to look like your job. If you don't look like your job, you can't get the job. Example, have you seen any fat person selling shisha? Check. Everybody selling shisha actually looks like shisha. Uh -huh. No, you go to clubs now. You go to clubs now. You see them now. They're always lanky now. Before they will give you the shisha, they will take half of it. <laughs> <laughs> give you two five out of the five thousand. <laughs> Look at the country. The country is lean. Have you seen any fat president? <laughs> yeah? We don't see any presidents when Nigeria we fat. Or have you seen anybody in decoration, leading decoration team that is slim? <laughs> they always fat. If I'm saying fat now, tell me. Yeah? You don't see any decoration person with gay body, we slim. They always have. Or have you seen a policeman that is fair? <laughs> Oh, but I never see police for every in this country. You know they have a black family. You must be black. <laughs> crazy. You know? Crazy. I tell people that for no reason must you try to Google your symptoms if you are sick. Once I was I had boil on my neck. So I went to Google. What might be the cause? of having boils. Mm. The first result that came out was cancer. 
I see which guy will allow me this. He now wrote comma HIV, comma sickle cell. I say this is who are confused. You and another thing you must not do, you must not ask any medical student like all these people with radiography that please, oh, I have something that is doing me. Oh, what is the cause? I told one medical student that ah, that um, for a while I've not been breathing properly. The guy said, Have you done brain scan? I said, No. I said, You must try and do brain scan. Me, I foolishly went to the hospital to say, How much do you do your brain scan? He said, 50,000 to check this brain. How much is the brain? <laughs> brain will never fetch me one fine. Now he said, My pay 50,000 to check. Very crazy. And this whole comedy job, if you're a girl, please. Don't date a comedian. They don't have money. They don't have money. I went to marry recently in Imo State. You know how Imo State bride price used to be now? I went to my friend to marry somebody in Imo State. So we got there now. Now they come bring out a uh, bride price. So the, the woman, the girl, the woman, just they looked the boy. They looked the boy. Then she got decide, ask him, say, what do you do for a living? The guy said, I'm a stand-up comedian. The woman says, stand up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Chino Francis. Please put your hands together for your Chino Francis.